This is going to be a camshaft unboxing video. I ordered this camshaft through Lycans Motorsports. It was a custom grind uh, brand at Lycans Motorsports spec the uh, camshaft for my 351 Windsor and ordered it through comp cams. It took about, I don't know, a week and a half to get since I ordered it and I'm going to uh, show you the specs on the cam. There you can see the specs on this cam. Duration at 50 thousandths is 242 on the intake, 254 on the exhaust. Lift on the intake, max lift is 609. Intake, 622 on the exhaust with a lobe separation angle of 111. Um, I spec this cam, or, or Brent spec this cam, with my intent to have uh, peak power uh, as high as 6500 RPM. And here is a look at the cam. It is a steel billet core, and from the looks of it, it appears to be a 5150 steel alloy. And on the end of the cam, you can see the serial number is imprinted, along with the lobe profile numbers, the lobe separation angle of 111. I believe the 4 is the amount of ground in advance, and the R indicates this is a solid roller. Here is a look at my cam card. Um, you can see the lobe profile numbers, 4874 and 4876. Those are the numbers from the Comp Cam's lobe catalog. So when I gave Brent my engine specs, the compression ratio, the airflow, the desired RPM range, I'm assuming he has some engine simulation software that helped him pick these lobe profiles from the Comp Cam's catalog in order to meet my desired power range. And as you can see, these low profile numbers, 4874 and 4876, are from the Extreme Energy Street Roller Series solid roller profiles in the catalog. It appears that these two low profiles match the profiles from two different off-the-shelf solid roller cams. The intake low profile matches the profile from the 24248 Extreme Energy solid roller, and the exhaust profile matches the profile from the uh, 248 254 extreme energy solid roller so i essentially have a 242 254 hybrid of those two off the shelf cams with a slightly different lobe separation angle of 111. so that's all that i've got i hope you like this look at the specs on my cam keep watching for more updates on my 351 windsor build